What's up, people? My name's Jack. Welcome to my channel. We're talking about motion tracking in Adobe After Effects in 2023. In fact, we're talking about a few different types of motion tracking. Buttery smooth motion tracking through and through. We're going to talk about motion tracking logos. We're going to talk about, of course, motion tracking text and titles. We're going to talk about motion tracking videos. And we're going to talk about all the three different types of motion tracking in Adobe After Effects. Position tracking, rotation tracking, and scale tracking. How to actually track the scale of things, the rotation, and the position. Let's jump onto the computer. So we've loaded up Adobe After Effects, and I prepared a few example sequences for you guys. We've got the position example, we've got this rotation example over here, and we've got a scale example. So you guys see that each three of these trackers are a little bit different. They track a different aspect. So position tracker, rotation tracker, and scale tracker. We're going to break down all three. Let's get cracking with position. Awesome. So let's go ahead and recreate this. What I want to go ahead and do is start a new sequence. I'm going to go up here, grab my position example, and make a new sequence. Then you want to right-click in your layers section, go to new, and create a new null object. We then want to come down here to the tracker section. If it's not there, by the way, simply go up to your window tab and just go ahead and tick it, and it will appear down there in the bottom right. Then let's go ahead and click track motion, and of course, we are just going to keep the position tracker on because this is just the position example. We can then take our tracker point, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on his head. So I'm going to bang it right there in the middle. I'm going to zoom in. I want to drag the first square in the middle and position it exactly around his head. I don't want it to go outside of the lines of his head. That's what our second box is for, which is sort of just to make up the surrounding area. So we've got our tracker positioned around his gas mask. We've got our guidelines around the side as well. And we are going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit just so we can actually see what's happening. Come down here and press play. And just like that, it is going to now go frame by frame and track the motion of that gas mask. As you see, the tracker is staying perfectly positioned on his face. This guy is a little bit spooky. Who knows what his backstory is? He might have just come from doing some good. He might have just come from doing some bad. You can't really tell. We can just go ahead and press stop, right? It's motion track seven seconds. Feel free to, in your own clip, motion track the whole thing. But for example's sake, I'll just go ahead and press apply. And what that's done is created a whole bunch of keyframes that track the motion. And then what we simply want to do, and by the way, it's, it's done the same thing to the null object. We then want to go ahead and, you know, just right click, new, create some text, and we're going to call this, yay, we did it. Awesome, right? A nice little celebration. We'll put it up there. And then we're simply going to parent and link, and we're going to drag that to the null object. So the text now reflects all of the same properties as the null object, which is motion tracked. And just like that, yay, we did it awesome, is completely motion tracked, and stays right there. We can put it wherever we want. We could put it right right there, just like our other clip had it. Whatever the case may be, we, we could even animate it in and out. For example, let's, uh, let's go over here and, and add 100% opacity at one second, and then slowly it, it animates in, amazing, or, or, you know, just fades on. Oh, and real quickly, guys, before we continue, it is as simple to track a video or a logo or anything else that we mentioned in the intro as it is to track text. All we'd literally do is just throw a video in here and, again, just parent link it to that null object so that it tracks the motion and, uh, and performs that same effect regardless of the piece of content. Sweet. Position tracker ticked off the list. Let's move on to rotation. Real quick, before we continue with the buttery smooth motion tracking in Adobe After Effects, a quick word from our sponsors, Video Production Plus. VP Plus is my private members community, and if you're serious about your video production journey this year, you need to get involved. We're giving away templates for After Effects, templates for Premiere Pro, exclusive content teaching you how to make money making videos, feature length courses, access to a kick-ass community of like-minded creatives, and for the first 100 members, we're giving a 50% off discount for life. You heard that right. The link is down below. VP Plus, Video Production Plus 2023. If you're serious about your video production journey, I want to see you guys in there. So rotation is going to follow this exact same model. We're going to find something that we can motion track, right? For example, something that has movement in it, like these little chunks of strawberry. And we're going to create a motion track with the tracker tool down here, attach it to the null object, and then, you know, create some text and make the text parent link to the null object. Super straightforward, super simple. Whether you're tracking position, rotation, or scale, they follow the same formula. So let's go up here. Let's get our rotation example. Let's go ahead and create a new sequence. Let's right click. Let's go to to null object and let's go down here to track motion however this time we're going to turn on two trackers the position 
and the rotation. As you see, they both represent two different boxes, but we're going to do the same thing with both boxes. We're going to find a chunk of strawberry, aka an object that is moving, that we can track. And I'm simply going to draw my little square inside the strawberry and my bigger guideline square outside the strawberry. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this other one, which is my uh, which is my rotation, and I'm going to do the same thing. Even though that bad boy is not a perfect square, I'm going to follow the same idea and just fit my small box inside the object and my larger box outside the object. And I'm just going to go ahead and press play. And just like that, you can see it is tracking the motion of it as it rotates around the plate. We're then going to go ahead and press apply. I'll, I'll let it get to the 10 second mark. So we've got a little bit of runway here. We can then go ahead here and create a new text layer. Strawberry surprise. Sounds like some kind of ice cream flavor maybe or some kind of birthday cake of sorts. And we're just going to go ahead and parent link that to the null object. And just like that, strawberry surprise is twisting around the screen. Now, if you could see a little bit of jitter, you're probably going to see a little bit more coming up, right? As you saw right there. With motion tracking, there are certain frames that you might have to go in and manually fix. As you guys will see, if you open up the actual clip itself, these are thousands of keyframes. You should be aware that motion tracking is really as good as the piece of the clip that you're tracking. If you have a super easy clip to motion track, there's, you know, an object that really stands out that you can clearly put the tracker on, it's going to go well. Similar to this, there is a perfect contrast with the red, where we're motion tracking a red object with a white background, so it's not going to get lost. It's, it's going to be able to, to, to stay on that red object. However, the little bit of glitch that we have over here, right, with the, with the strawberry text, as it glitches right there a little bit, is because that rotation tracker wasn't perfectly put on the strawberry. It wasn't a perfect square, as we know, right? We had to we had to lodge it off a little bit, a little bit to the side. It was a little bit skewed. So the motion track isn't perfect. It's as simple as that. The motion track is as good as the piece. The motion track is as good as the object in the video that you're tracking the motion of. Anyways, onto the scale example. This one's fun because you can do the most with the scale, in my opinion. I, I like rotation. Rotation's cool. Position, obviously, is just a standard. But with scale, you can do stuff like this. You can reveal text. Or with a drone shot, you could be miles away, zooming in. And as it gets closer, the text gets bigger. You can do a lot of cool stuff with the scale um, motion tracking in Adobe After Effects. Personally, I love it. Let's go up here. Let's drag scale. Let's make a new sequence. Let's right click. Let's go to new. And we press null object. We click on scale. And we go over here to tracker. We're going to track the motion and the scale this time. So again, we've got our two track points. And we want to find something that holds the position and then find something that holds the motion. I'm going to use these little boxes here. So I'm going to put my position um, tracker right in this first box here because I know this this represents the position of the um, finish line thing that we've got here, right? And again, I'm going to do the same strategy. I'm going to put the small box in there, the larger box, the outline, guideline box, a little bit around the side. So it encompasses a little bit more. I'm going to fit this bad boy in here. And I'm going to try my best to, to fit this as best I can. Amazing. And then we have set both of them up. We're going to come over here. We're going to press play. And we're just going to let that do its thing. We're going to let it motion track, motion track all the way out. This is a relatively short clip, so we can just we can just let it do its thing. It's about a 10-second clip. And we're going to get an effect where we reveal some text in a very nice way, in a very cool way. Motion tracking is such a great addition to any edit because in terms of a text effect, it feels the most, would you say, dynamic maybe? I don't know, because you're putting the text in the video, right? You're, you're making the video and the text at one opposed to the text feeling like a layer on top of the video. And I think any anything you can do in video production that creates a seamless effect, right, where where, where the viewer isn't necessarily super aware of effect, an effect is happening there, those are those are very very desirable um, things things to be able to create. So let's go ahead and and put some text. Hi there. Didn't see me, did you? So obviously I'm just being stupid. Let's go ahead and, and make that a bit smaller. And pop that right about there. And I'm just going to go ahead and again parent link it to null. And we're going to come down here and press play. And sure enough, didn't see me, did you? Hi there. Didn't see me, did you? The text go ahead, goes and reveals as we zoom out. And it was really as simple as that. You guys see, we just created three different examples of buttery smooth motion tracking. So simple. I just want to go ahead and recap. 
for our example sequence quick. If you guys have a look at our example sequence that we that we kicked this off with, right? We were talking about th multiple different types of motion tracking, right? This is one clip that I've motion tracked here. And we've been able to do loads of different trackers on one specific clip. As you see, I've added transitions to this stuff. It's transitioning in, it's transitioning off, comes in on one side of the screen, comes in on the other side of the screen. Um, I threw some videos in there just to showcase that literally, you know, any kind of tracker is possible. Motion tracking is honestly a super desirable, amazing effect, but it's not the toughest thing in the world. However, it is dependent on the clips you guys are motion tracking. These are all high quality stock footage, 4K stuff right here. So obviously it's it's a high quality piece of content, which means it can be motion tracked effectively. But yes, motion tracking in Adobe After Effects in 2023, that's it. Buttery smooth motion tracking, talking about scale motion tracking, rotation motion tracking, position motion tracking. Hell yeah. How many times have we said motion tracking in one video? Who knows? Try and count how many times we said motion tracking. Give me your guess down below. Maybe there's a prize. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm trying to increase engagement in a malicious way. That's the video done and dusted. Peace, guys.